Hi guys, welcome back. So today we're going to do something different because I'm going to get my eyebrows done. I know they look pretty nice just now, but I have to do them every day. And as you will notice in a second when I will show you, they look completely different when I don't have a makeup on. So I'm going to get a micro shading done and I'm looking forward to share my experience with you. Um, I think I'm just going to pause this video after it's fully healed so I can just take you throughout the whole process and what to expect. I hope you're gonna enjoy it. Okay guys, so that's me after the treatment. I must say I was really tired today because I woke up at 6.30 in the morning and I had my clients in the morning and then basically I had clients back to back and I went straight for the appointment. So this is how the eyebrows look like after the treatment and um, I don't know like this lighting it's showing like a bit different color like and um, because I use like this bright LED light so let me just slightly bring it down um because I think it was showing like as the eyebrows were a bit like reddish but they're not at all I love how they match my um match my hair color I love how they match my shape like it looks really nice I'm sorry I look a bit like a mess because as I said like I had a nap <laughs> after I came back and like I removed my makeup um but yeah i am so so happy so i'll be checking with you um every day uh to kind of update you how it's healing uh but yeah this is day one so basically the day that i did my eyebrows and honestly i am so happy and by the way um the lady gave me like the aftercare sort of kit uh which got let me actually show you okay I hope you can see me okay so she gave me oh i forgot like what's the name of this water but like she gave me the um this water to basically clean up my eyebrows um every two hours uh only today every two hours and then because obviously i've mentioned that um i'm a personal trainer and obviously i train myself and i do teach zumba classes so i sweat so she said like to wash it to wash my eyebrow, eyebrows after I sweat with this water. I can't remember what's the name of it. Um, never mind. You you probably know it's basically to kind of like sanitize it. Um, and then in this pouch, which is super, super cute. Okay, let me just get everything out. Oh. Okay, so she's got actually her nice logo in here. Like, I absolutely love it. The lady was lovely as well. So easy to talk to and made me very comfortable and at ease. So I really liked it because that was the first time I was getting like any sort of tattoo. Uh, well, not it's not a tattoo because it's like semi-permanent. Um, but like anything like this done, I've never had any um, like permanent makeup done or even like lip injections or anything like that. So I've never tried this stuff out. So that's my first time. So in here, it just gives you a bit of the description of the aftercare. And at the back of it, you've got stages of healing. So it's really nice and handy because obviously it makes you feel comfortable about um, about the whole treatment, about the whole procedure. So for example, on the day one, it says, I like my brows, they are a little too dark. And then on the day two to four, my eyebrows are too dark, etc. And it just basically explains that. So the lady explained this to me as well. And that I can expect like the next morning that the um, eyebrow is going to be a little bit darkened and they will slightly fade away. Then eventually will get darker again to get that uh, desired color. And then I'll have to get a touch up um, after one to two months um, since I had since I had them for the first time. So that's first part of uh, what's in the pouch. I'm so sorry. I look absolutely terrible. <laughs> um and you get this cute brush um just to brush your brush your hair through it uh you get a few cotton buds that you're going to use to apply the cream on the eyebrows you get like a wee sasha with the gel uh for the eyebrows for the after curl after curl uh, curl after curl i don't know where i 
thing like it sounds bad and some um cotton pads so that's what you get in the pouch um okay so that's day one i'm going to check with you tomorrow hello so this is an update today is day two after i did my eyebrows i'm so sorry for the background noises i hope it's not too annoying because i've got a maintenance team doing something in into my garden and i feel the whole house is shaking but anyway um and i look like a mess because i got up not long ago and my hair is still need to get done um but first seven days you cannot wet your eyebrows so you really need to watch when you wash your hair i haven't washed my hair this morning so i'm going to put it in some french pleat and um, but from the day two um you're going to start put uh putting the cream on the eyebrows so i'm going to do do it with you now okay so we are going to use this gel that i was given uh -uh -uh. I don't know if it caught the sharpness. Yes, it did. So we're just going to go, I guess, with like a small amount. Oh, and we're just gonna put it on the on the brows. So as I told you, uh, what the lady said who did my brows that the next day my eyebrows might get darker and if you will compare it from the video from yesterday they actually did but not that bad and it still still look good on me and um, especially since i haven't washed my hair so they look a bit darker <laughs> uh but yeah so this gel you're supposed to put um in oh they stop in the morning and in the evening for the first two days after you got the eyebrows done so i'm not sure how much i shall put but i'm just i didn't use actually like a big amount because uh, of course it needs to last me for two days Okay, I'm just gonna check it off camera in a second to see if I cover all the parts. I've got a little bit left at the edge in here, so just, let's just use it. Okay, perfect. So that's a day two. This is how they look from the close up. I mean, the like supernatural lighting. Let me just bring it a little bit closer. let me tell you i'm obsessed the best decision ever so i'm gonna catch up with you tomorrow for an update hello so today's day three after my after i got my eyebrows done so this is how they look i still need to put a gel on them um because you apply the gel uh, only for two two days after you got them done but yeah i am still obsessed uh, I washed my hair today, so I had to wash them separately from my body. It wasn't really that difficult. I was like so worried that the water is going to get into the eyebrows because you shouldn't wet your eyebrows for the first uh, seven days. But this is how we look and that's day three. I'm going to check with you tomorrow. Okay, ladies, so here's an update of the day four of my eyebrows. I think they've gone a little bit darker. Uh, I didn't touch anything with the makeup because you actually can't do that. Well, there is no point anyway. But this is how they look. Uh, I think I could have just brushed my hair through it, but it's looking amazing and I absolutely love it. And this was actually the first time I did like a full makeup since I got them done. And the amount of time I saved by having them already there that I didn't have to touch it, I didn't have to do them, a lifesaver. So still enjoying it, still loving it. So that's the day four. I'm gonna see you on the day five. So here's day five, ladies. My eyebrows are still looking gorgeous. I'm still obsessed. But what I've noticed is last night, uh, there is a little bit of scabbing uh, 
going on here um it's very hard to resist not to peel it but i'm doing my best because you cannot touch it so don't peel it just let it fall off itself but this is the only change that i pretty much have noticed so i'm gonna see you on day six hello so that's the day six i'm so sorry for the state of my hair i just need to fix them uh but yeah so far everything is looking good i don't think like on the you know how i showed you on the first day that you get like this kind of guidance that what will happen within the first 10 days that well 10 to uh 14 days and you were saying that like it will fade away but so far i'm actually not seeing this yet i don't know if you meant to happen a little bit later i can't remember there is a little bit more of scabbing going on like like closer in here uh you can't really see it on the screen but it's really not the bad i had this like one small flake on the skin over there but like it actually fell uh fell within a day so it's fine it wasn't that irritating but yeah this is how it looks i'm still super happy i'm still obsessed and i'm still not regretting it i will see you tomorrow hello here's the day seven of the eyebrows update i feel like i always come here either with my hair wet messy or just when i woke up but hey ho this is life but this is how my eyebrows are looking still very pretty um remember when i told you yesterday there's a little bit of us coming but it's just like very minimal like just a tiny bit like up the front in here which is like not visible for the eye unless you were like really um zoom in which i don't know if you will be able to see on the camera i don't think you can but anyway that's the day six still looking pretty uh yeah like healing very fast as you can see looking very natural um i'm still obsessed oh my god i almost forgot to record an update i was just lying in bed um it's night time already it's like 8 p.m and i was like oh my gosh i forgot to do the day eight yeah it's day eight um so this is how the eyebrows are looking let me just close it up um i think it's slightly fading away like you can't really tell um i only noticed like in the morning but like not really i can't see like much difference from uh with the color uh there is still some scabbing going on um i'm not actually tempted to pick on it which is weird because usually when i see stuff like this i'm like oh, scratch it uh, but this is how it's looking i'm still obsessed you know what it saves me so much time in the day i'm just wake up uh waking up and i'm pretty much ready so it's all looking pretty i will see you tomorrow for the day nine okay so here's the day nine i'm sorry for my messy hair as usual but i'm actually back from the gym um still obsessed nothing has changed but definitely i can notice now that the color is fading away a little bit um and there is still a little scabbing there but why is hester in the video anyway i will continue yeah there is a little bit of scabbing Callum having going on there it's fading slightly away but the lady said that it will fade a little and then after that um the color will kind of like come back so let's see what's it gonna be looking like on the day 14 okay so today is the day 11 since i got my brows done i forgot to actually record the day 10 but nothing much has actually changed uh one thing that i've noticed that this eyebrow is kind of starting to lose a bit of a shape sorry for the close-up um i'm losing a little bit of the shade uh it's getting a little bit lighter but this is what was expected and apparently like on the week four or six and um, the color will kind of um become a bit darker again i don't know how it works don't ask me um and then you're getting your retouch done but that's the day 11 so far um there is still some scabbing going on like in here 
Um, it was a bit itchy yesterday, but I try not to pick on it. I mean, I didn't pick on it. Um, so yeah, we're going to continue with this video today, 14th. And then I'm going to give you my final thoughts. Hello there. So today is day 15 and my apologies. I actually forgot to record the video for the last, I think, four days, but it's been two weeks and two weeks and one day since I got my eyebrows done. Um, and this is how it looks. As you can see, oh my gosh, look at this guy and I'm going out with my friend in a few hours. We just need to cover off her for now. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, the color has faded. Um, but it says on the leaflet that with, uh, like, I think on the week four, between work week four and six, the color might change and might get a little bit darker. Don't ask me. I don't know how it works. I'm still happy uh, with the with the results. Uh, and honestly, it saves me so much time in the morning to get my eyebrows done. So let me get my makeup done because, as I said, I'm going out with my girl. Um, and I'm going to like, basically give you the summary of what I think, whether I recommend it, um, the healing process and everything else. So I will be back in a second. Okay, so I said that I'm going to record the video um, after I will do my makeup before I will go out with my friend um, to just basically um, go over like the summary of the eyebrows. And you know what, once I did my makeup, I totally forgot to record it because I had got to go and because I had like a long drive. Uh, so I had to leave and I totally forgot. So here I am uh, a couple days later. Uh, it's what day is it? It's Friday and we went out on Wednesday. So a couple days later, I'm here just to summarize my journey with the uh, um, micro shading. So uh, basically it's been over two weeks now. Uh, it's been basically two weeks and three days since I got my eyebrows done. I'm gonna zoom it in in a second. Um, but just to go quickly over um, the whole procedure. So I booked my appointment and when I arrived um, to the lady, she basically, um, she basically kind of picked the, the shape, um, the color and everything for me because I wasn't sure really what I'm going for. And there are certain, uh, well, I wanted like this kind of fluffy, oh, sorry, the fluffy brows with the kind of like a hair strokes. Uh, but unfortunately, as I've got like um oily T-zone area, it wouldn't last on me. So I was advised to go for the micro shading and I'm actually glad that I did. So with the um, the package that I got the with the kit, uh, aftercare kit, I got also this like leaflet and what to expect, which was super helpful. So just to go over for the first uh, seven days, you cannot wet your eyebrows. And of course, if you do, you just quickly just wanted to wipe them. Um, there was some scabbing for a few days and you need to make sure that you're not picking on it. Uh, or rub or anything like that and um, you want to avoid any like facial peels so when you, basically any deep clean uh, sort of skincare you want to av avoid for the first couple of weeks like also botox etc um, and also you should avoid for two weeks um, like any sort of removal of your hair whether it's wax or plucking um, you should sleep on your uh, on your back for a week. Um, don't use any skincare with active ingredients for two weeks. Avoid the direct sunlight for two weeks, which was pretty hard because obviously I live in Dubai, but we have managed. Um, and after twenty four hours, only use a recommended cleansing product. So I, because obviously I'm a personal trainer um, and I'm also a Zumba instructor, so I sweat quite a lot. Um, I was also given the water, like a special water to clean my um, eyebrows um, like lightly um, after basically any time I sweat for the first seven days. And then after... Um, then after the treatment for two days, I had cream, uh, special like gel to apply on, um, to apply on like two times a week, two times a day, sorry, morning and evening. So yeah, so the whole, this is how the whole journey went. And just to kind of go over this, because I really like how it's explained what to expect on your, um, after you got your eyebrows done. 
So uh, on the day one it says, I like my eyebrows that are a little dark. So as you've noticed, if you go back now to the first video I made, like you'd see that there is significant difference uh, with my eyebrows color uh, compared to what it is now. Uh, then between day two, four, um, the color seems to be enhanced. I really didn't notice that maybe a little, but I like I didn't see much of a difference. And um, day five to ten, uh, the scabbing starts. So yes, I did experience that only for like a few days, and then it was absolutely fine. And then a the eight to ten, uh, the eyebrows start getting lighter. Yes, which I can definitely definitely tell. And in here it says that the week four, uh, between week four and six, the color is back um, and you should reschedule your uh, touch up. So um, I would definitely do that. I, I'm going to Poland, I think, at the beginning of March. So I think when I will return, that's my plan when I'm going to do it. Um, to be honest with you, the process of healing was um, pretty easy. Um, obviously, you want to you want to follow the guidance that you are given in here and you'll be absolutely fine. It's really, um, yeah, it's easy to follow. I didn't find any difficulty uh, or I wasn't annoyed with any of these. So let me just um, take it a little bit closer because I feel like from the distance, it looked like the eyebrows were um, a little bit too light. So as you can see, this is how my eyebrows look right now. Uh, I don't have anything on them just now. I've just got like a regular makeup around, but I don't have actually anything on my eyebrows. And this is how it looks. And I'm honestly so happy. I feel like if you've got eyebrows like me, I've got, um, I've got black color hair, but like it's so thin and there's so many gaps as you can see, like here oh my gosh my skin's so oily sorry i just finished the training so in here as you will notice there's like pretty much no hair um so for me it was amazing experience it's saving me so much time and especially when i live in a hot country you know when you go into the beach you don't want to like worry when you will go to the water whether your eyebrows will remove so yes i am super happy with the whole experience with how it looks obviously um i cannot wait for the retouch and see how it will look afterwards but i would 100 100 percent recommend it to anyone who um really got like thin brows um and like lacking the shape or like maybe they're they've got like some gaps um honestly i am obsessed i love it i love how i'm always ready in the morning and all i have to do is just like my regular makeup so yeah i would 100 percent recommend and i would definitely be back in here to um update you with um with the retouch so how we will look after retouch so yeah Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see something similar, please like, share and comment below. And I will be thankful if you will subscribe to my channel. Um, and I think that's it for now. I'll see you in the next vlog.